From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Presented by UK Federal Credit Union. Welcome into BBN Tonight. I'm Maggie Davis. And I'm Keith Farmer. And tonight's an exciting one on our show, Maggie. Technically, I think every night is exciting on our <laughs> I show. I think so, too. But you're right. Tonight <laughs> is very special because over the next few weeks, we get to unveil the top 50 women in UK athletics history to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Title IX. And it all starts tonight. So that's going to be tonight's Big Blue Story presented by CHI St. Joseph Health. You know, as the years have gone on, the University of Kentucky has already been celebrating 50 years of Title IX. The legislation was passed in 1972. These days, Kentucky has 13 women's sports and hundreds of female athletes on campus who receive support thanks to this landmark legislation. The 50th anniversary of the passing is this summer on June 23rd, and we'll be counting down to that date here on BBN Tonight and LEX 18 with the unveiling of the top 50 women athletes in Kentucky athletics history during Title IX. Plus, we'll bring you interviews with the athletes and feature stories along the way. To help us kick this off tonight and to talk more about Title IX and what it has meant to the university is a champion of women's sports, the distinguished Sandy Bell, Executive Athletic Director, Assistant Athletic Director at UK. And thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. I appreciate that. Distinguished. I like that. Very, <laughs> yeah. very. I, I, all right. So you have been around for 32 years and, and obviously this has been around for 50. Where have you seen women's athletics go during your time in those 50 years? Yeah, and, and it's an amazing thing. For, for me to watch. I'm not about to tell you my birth date uh, of <laughs> the year, but when I speak to our young women these days and our coaches, I do start off with the fact that I am probably the only person in this room <laughs> who completed high school and college prior to the passing of, of Title IX. Wow. So uh, the fact that these young women now have the opportunity to do what they do is so gratifying to watch when you never had that opportunity yourself. So mm -hmm. uh, it's really been amazing to watch that. At the University of Kentucky, the changes since Mitch Barnhart came in have been amazing because he makes sure now that every one of the young people that come to our university have a chance for a championship experience, not just a nice little college experience, but a, a chance to be a champion. And that's new for us mm -hmm. when he came in in 2002. Uh, we had a, 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 not as many women's sports as we have now, but we had some, and they were, they were good sports, but they weren't excellent yet. Mm -hmm. and, and they have become excellent under his leadership. So. And it has been so amazing to watch. And I know that we're so excited to unveil these 50 athletes specifically, yeah. but this whole 50-year anniversary is something that the university has really taken on this entire season so far. I remember being at Rupp Arena a couple of months ago when so many women athletes yeah. were brought out onto the court what do you remember about that day, and, and how did it all come about, yeah. and how did it look for you? It was uh, it was the National Girls and yes. Women in Sports Day, <laughs> which is the, my shirt that I have on, that we have every year. Yes. Uh, but this year we thought it was very, very important to be able to show our community what we have done with women's athletics. It's, it's one thing to tell people we have over 300 young women mm -hmm. representing us at the University of Kentucky in athletics. It's another thing to show them. So we brought all of those young women to Rupp fed them a beautiful dinner, gave them a t-shirt, and walked them out to the floor uh, at Rupp Arena. And it was, I think, an amazing reaction as people mm -hmm. just started to stand and realize, that, oh my gosh, this is the program that we have. And it was wonderful. And three of our young women spoke, and they yes. were amazing. Their message is always, thank you to the ones who came before us, and all the rest of you, you young kids out there, come take our place. And so that keeps this going, perpetuating mm -hmm. what we love to do. I think that's the exciting thing is we're going to see on this <laughs> list of 50 people, you're going to see some from yeah. the early years and yeah. you're going to see some recent names. And I think it's going to be neat to see where it goes in the next 50 years. Oh, yes, and, and the time period is the 50 years of Title IX. So we're starting mm -hmm. with student athletes in 72 and we're going through student athletes who completed playing for us this year. Mm -hmm. So there are some great young women on our campus who aren't done yet, who won't be part of this 50, right. but it, that, that, they will keep it going. Mm -hmm. The hardest thing was to narrow it down to 50 mm -hmm. because there's so many. And there, there are any time I think you do a list, there are some that you feel like, oh my gosh, we should have had you know that person, but 50 is 50. And so uh, I think everybody will be really impressed with who they are. But you're right, they come from the past and they come 
from where we are right now. Yeah. I think maybe after 100 years, it'll be a little bit easier to get a top 100. So if <laughs> yes. you see more, maybe we'll all come back and do this yes, again you, with you the more complete how that goes. Oh, I was going to say, say, there's always going to be 101 that's yeah. like, wait, what about that what person? What about this one? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, Sandy, thank you so much for being here with us tonight yes. and for all your insight and, of course, everything mm -hmm. you've done for women's athletics at thank the University you. of Kentucky. Thank you. It, it's been a joy. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. And after the break, we're going to kick things off with the first five women on this top 50 list. Absolutely. Who's going? Who's it going to be? Well, you're going to find out right after this, only on BBN Tonight. Perfect. Around here, it's about commitment. It's about striving to be the best. It's about carrying on a tradition of excellence and always being accountable. It's about serving our community. For 85 years and counting, the University of Kentucky Federal Credit Union has been committed to serving you, our members. Not as banking. Only better. UK Federal Credit Union. It's banking only better. 